Okay, I'm looking for a quick, easy project. I like this bio machete. Can't remember where I got it from. The handle is original, but it feels clunky in the hand. The steel is nice and thick. It's been badly mistreated. And I reckon it'll be a quick, easy project. easier than what I expected. Reasonably straight, a little bit more work, it would be pretty much perfect, but I've worked out what's wrong. Why this thing become damaged in the first place wasn't neglect or misuse, it's because of this. The steel is shit. No wonder it's got no, no maker's mark on it. This is what it should be like. Banana in the bin. Okay, I couldn't help myself. Straighten it back up again, put an edge on it. It looks freaking awesome. It's got a nice weight to it. One problem. It's absolutely useless as a tool, and which means I can't sell it. So, what shall I do with it? Make it another wall hanger? Yeah, I've got two other machetes like this. I know, I'll give it away. So if you live in Australia, or preferably the Sunshine Coast, where I am, and you want a cool wall hanger, and you don't mind paying transport, check out the description below and I'll explain how to get it to you. But that brings me to an interesting topic. When should a tool not be restored? Take this one for instance. The wood start off like this and it's all grey. So clean it up and uh, check out how beautiful that is. Yeah, definitely worth it. Except, when I got to this part, got rid of the paint, got rid of the rust, had a few pits in it, not too nice, sharpened it up, and then I noticed, it's got freaking cracks in it. Someone's been using this part with a hammer, and uh, it's got stress fractures all the way through it. So what do I do? Do I fill the fill the cracks, repaint it, sell it on, be a bum, or throw it away? The problem is I've put a fair bit of work into it already, and this handle is absolutely gorgeous, and this handle will only fit this tool. So, what I've decided to do is turn it into a display piece, if you call that, a wall hanger of sorts. Bought some car filler and I'm going to fill the gaps, keep the, the imprints, the stamps, the maker's marks, paint it up and make it look like a million dollars. Problem is, I can't sell it and it's good for nothing but as a display. This was in very bad condition. You can still see the, the paint that was on it. Had two layers of paint. Severe rust pitting here where the paint worn off. 
the inscription says number two and here it says Boeing and low over here it says something cast steel and there's a mark there that I can't read there's a crack here that goes around very fine crack there's another crack there extends across here this head was mushroomed over and I cleaned it up ground it back you can still see some of the red paint in the grooves there's absolutely no rust on it I've removed that with the patrolysis and I've smoothed out a bit with the flap disc except about that time I realised it's covered in cracks so shut them in the corner thought this was a mistake to re restore <laughs> but you know I'm going to try out this product car filler fill the little divots and paint it over Okay, apart from the mess, that worked better than what I expected. Feels nice and smooth now. Uh, I can still see the stamps on the metal. There's a couple of spots I missed. So I might just give it another light, light go. And then give it a paint. I've done two coats. Let's see how it turns out. Okay, third and final coat. If you want to try and replicate the finish, I used Jupiter Color Engine Enamel with Ceramic. I use that same paint for the planes. And this is the bog. Worked well. It's a couple of days later, and this is what it looks like. I'm quite happy with it, except I've learnt a few things. I should have primed it. I should have masked off this front edge. There's a spot on the bottom where you can tell I didn't fill it. And that's what it would have looked like all over. So 
Another learning is I should have not done it in the dark and rushed it. it needed a third coat of the, the filler. I did this axe a couple of days earlier with the same paint and I did an experiment. I rubbed that with a bit of steel wool. That's what it looked like originally. And I think that looks better and may hide a few more imperfections. So I'm going to give the same treatment on this one. So steel wool and a bit of linseed oil as lubrication. And just a light rub. You can't really tell much on camera, but that's much better. And this is where I probably stuff it up. Okay, job finished. I know I made some mistakes. Let me know what you think in the comments. What else did I do wrong? Perhaps I should have braised the cracks. Perhaps I shouldn't have bothered doing it at all. Anyway, I'd love to hear what you think. And tell me what you think I should do with it. All right, catch you later. Thank you.